Hello everyone, this is Eric with NEI, and today I'm going to be discussing how to create a Trimble Terraflex project using the Trimble Connect Cloud system. So I'm on the Trimble Geospatial webpage for Terraflex. If I scroll down here towards the middle, uh, there's some examples of how it works, things like that, but we'll just start with this getting started with Terraflex. So in order to use Terraflex, you need a Trimble ID, which is basically your email address, assigned to a Terraflex license, either basic or advanced. So once you have that, you click on sign up here, and that will be how you create your Trimble ID, which is basically your email address. The next option here is you click on sign in, and what that will do is bring you out to Trimble Connect. So I'm already in Trimble Connect. I'm already signed in, and I'm in a project I already have called Eric B. Terraflex New. Inside of here, you can click on the Add button in the top right corner and choose Create Map Workspace. This will open up the Trimble Map Viewer, and it's going to start off with asking you for a name for the Map Workspace. So this would be what we'll find on the handheld when we log into or the mobile device, whatever you're logging into. Uh, when you log into Terraflex, you'll have a list of project or project, if you will. So I'm going to give this a name called Create Map. Project. All right. And then the next option here is where will you be working? So Trimble's trying to make things easier on customers by helping them pick the proper coordinate system to use. So depending on which city you're working in, let's say I'm working in New Orleans today, I can type that in, pick that, and it shows up on the map. As long as I'm in the general vicinity, that should be fine. You can type in an address. Uh, you can just put in a city and state. And then from here, I'm going to click Next. And what Trimble does is it finds a few different coordinate systems that are available for the New Orleans area. So we have State Plane, that's what I'm going to use today. Uh, we have UTM. And then we have our generic, uh, or sorry, geographic lat long. So if you want to run lat long coordinates, you pick the bottom. So the default will all be State Plane. And it picked my correct zone. We have two zones in Louisiana, north and south. Well, and then as an offshore as well, so there's three. Uh, but I'm working in the south zone. And what I need to change is I want my data to be in CUS. And then below that, it's going to automatically choose the most recent datum of MAT 83 2011. And then I want to use my heights. I want to see mean sea level heights. So it's going to automatically available for us. And I'm going to also put that in US feet. And then I'm going to click on done. And that's how you start off creating a project. From here, you have the options to import data. If I click over here on the left side, you can import data from a file. You can create new templates. You can use existing templates. This will be a, in a later session that I'll offer up in a video. I will also show you while we're in here, let's say we're in this map project, but I want to do a few other options. If I click on this menu icon at the top left, these three horizontal lines next to my word, create map project, we're presented with maps tab here on the left. So let's say I want to duplicate an existing project. Let's say this Aurora infrastructure. If I click on these three horizontal lines, I can choose duplicate and then just say, map test two. So when I duplicate a project, you can either use the existing coordinate system. Mine is currently set to lat long here. If I hit next, it would just ask me, do I want to duplicate the current templates in the project or do I want to link them? And I can hit finish and it would keep that project the same coordinate system. But let's say I want to work in State Plain, Louisiana South. I would hit next. Again, it's going to ask me where I'm working. Uh, another option I could do is just drag the map over here to where I'm working and hit next. And it should grab State Plain, Louisiana South. I can change that to feet like I did previously. I'm going to link my templates here. And then I've, I've just created a project that way by duplicating an existing project. So that's the second way we can create a project in this Connect Cloud platform. And then our third option, I'm going to go back in here. Oh, I hit cancel there, sorry. I'm going to click on the menu icon again, back in the maps, and you'll see a create button up here at the top. So 
you could just create a new one here. We'll keep it generic. I'm going to click next. Let's say this time around, I want to go to UTM. UTM's in meters, so I'm going to leave that alone. I'm going to hit done. So that is our three ways to create a project inside of Terraflex. We appreciate you listening today. Feel free to check out other videos on our channel or reach out to NEI GPS if y'all have any questions. Thank you.